Hey folks, Stormcrow here, and today I'll be talking about the latest codex that I got for from Phil Theory Games, Shimmer Volume 3. Now, two things before I begin. Uh, number one, I'm probably not going to get any sets for a while because of Christmas shopping within the next month and a half, I suppose. And secondly, um, I don't know that much about these these girls be, simply because I don't really follow the independent scene all that much. Uh, especially when it comes to women's independent wrestling, so just based off what I this is just based off what I've read in the uh, teasers on the website and uh, every anything I looked up on Wikipedia. To start off, we have at the tag team of the set, Made in Sin, Allison K and Taylor Mays. Now, starting off with Taylor, uh, very average, especially with power and agility. I would recommend. Not having her start off the match, start with Allison since her stats are better. She's she's one of the rare cases where it actually has where her power is in the negatives, in which a lot of some of the cards uh, are some some of the girls in Shimmer have power that's better, higher, stronger than minus one. So this is another strong character. And like I said, start off, start her off in, in the when they, when you have these two teamed up, start her off, and when you want to go for the finisher, tag Taylor in. And the thing about the, the both of them is that they have a tag finisher plus two, but when they're fighting by themselves, they it, it, it substitutes for 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 a singles finisher. In Taylor's case, it is a zero rating, and for Allison, it's a plus one, whereas their tag finisher is, in both cases is a plus two. I believe I said that already. Next is uh, Tentacle Ray. Um, I suppose on uh, offensively average, defensively, level two and level three are okay. Level one very good. Two reversals, four dazed instructions. So basically, if you're fighting against her, try to, and you're on, you're starting the match. Try to roll higher than a higher than a two. That way, you're guaranteed that she'll roll in level two defense. Otherwise, no matter what she rolls on defense, someone's going to roll in level one. Rhea O'Reilly, interesting interesting gimmick. A uh, Irish, well, she is natively uh, native Ireland, uh, uh, native to Ireland, and has a typical, uh, I guess, bar fighting gimmick that most uh, that would fit an Irish stereotype. I don't mean to offend any actual Irish folk. <laughs> Completely, my my apologies. That wise, again. Negative power is really good, a little slow. Uh, chart wise, a uh, very poor in ropes and death jump. And her level, offensive levels, and they're okay. Plus one finisher. Defensively, much like Candace, her level one is really good, and. Level two and three defense are just average, so there you go. Uh, Kaylee Ray, uh, highly agile, uh, ropes and out of the ring rings are are exceptional. Um, aside from an add one on level three, offensively she's good. Uh, average. Yeah, defense defenses all, all the way from top to bottom are average. So, um, let's see what she does. Now, this one's interesting. Uh, Crazy Mary Dobson. Now, I uh, just just from the hockey match, that was pretty awesome. And from when I read the teasers, she's good in the uh, hardcore matches. But the the thing that really makes her shine is her mechanic when she throws the opponent out of the ring. She has a two out of three chance of, well, hold on, yeah, two out of three chance of uh, doing a special move that would result in a level three, rolling, the opponent rolling a level three, but one of those moves 
isn't as one. So if you're you're fighting with, as her and throw your opponent out of the ring every chance you get, you, even if they're, the opposing side has a rating of A, so you're going to have a good advantage as long as it's not a cage match. Melanie Cruz, she's another strong wrestler. Um, her agility is kind of or she's well, she has a plus three agility that kind of overdoes her, kind of overbalances her uh, minus two power. Out of the ring, she's really good. That's her offensive defense. Really good. Oh my gosh, her defense is, uh, has two days and and four reversals. So she's got a good chance of, uh, like uh, as I said with Candace, when, when you're fighting against Melanie, hit them and you're on level one. Make sure you land, you're able to get a, a strength, a move with a strength of two. Otherwise, she will reverse. Highly, more, more than likely. And one special effect is that if if your opponent rolls into the turnbuckle, you have to check to see if her if their power is um, is uh, better than is zero or better. Other, otherwise, Melanie will reverse and roll on level two offense. And so that that's interesting. And plus, she's got a plus two finisher, so really strong. Finally, we have the big one, Vanessa Craven. My God, she is powerful. I haven't seen a, a woman this strong since Awesome Kong. And the best way I can put it is she hits like a tank and moves like one. A minus three strength, and, and I've only seen two other, two other girls in Shimmer that have that. Uh, strong outside the ring. Uh, yet again, we got someone who's weak with ropes and death jump. Offensively, threes on tons of threes on level two and three offense. Like like Melanie, she's got a lot of reversals. Especially, he, you're, there's a good chance she will reverse a, a level one strength move. And uh, defenses are are average as usual, and plus uh, along with a plus two finisher. So I hope I I wouldn't be surprised if she wins the wins the title. So there it is, Shimmer Volume Three. All around, it's amazing, and I would recommend this if you want to expand your women's division in whatever fed you're running. Uh, close out. I may put up a straw poll within the next couple of weeks. Um, I might do an uh, I will post an update announcing that. Uh, but I probably won't. Uh, whatever said on is voted on. I'm probably not going to buy it for him for a while since Christmas shopping, like I said before. So until next time, I'll see you later.